when you look back at the sabbaticals you've taken, right? So nine or ten two month sabbaticals now. <laughs> when you look at the sabbaticals that have recharged you the most versus the sabbaticals that have recharged you the least, mm-hmm. do you see any patterns or do you see any characteristics that have some explanatory power for you? That's a really, really great question. This past sabbatical was incredibly recharging. And, um, you know, it came after the, the year that time forgot, you know, 2020. And um, the, in 2020, I bought, um, I got into cycling. And um, as I said in my away message during this past sabbatical, I said something like, um, may your summer be filled with fireflies and s'mores. For me, I hope to have it filled with weeding in my garden and cycling in the mountains and writing and working. I'm working on a new book and working on my new book. And uh, I slept well. I ate well. And I rested well. And I exercised my mind with a new book. And I traveled. I saw a family that I hadn't seen in 18 months. I spent two weeks on the coast of California in a lovely beach house. And my kids each came to visit and cycled through, um, which was lovely. And that, so if I would say there's a pattern of of sabbaticals that are done right, it's it's a focus on mind and body, um, and it's resting both and taking care of both. For sabbaticals that did not go so well, I would say the pattern is to load it up with expectations, like I'm going to finish a book, or I'm going to read this these ten books, or I'm going to write a new business plan. Or uh, I'm going to travel to Europe and see all these friends and then travel back. I mean, these are all examples that my clients have given me. And, you know, the number one rule in sabbatical is Sabbath. Rest. Rest. The body needs rest. The mind and heart need rest. Right? That's the, that, that's the simplest way I can put it for you. Do you have, or could you tell us, if, if there are any examples, any examples of epiphanies or breakthroughs, ahas of any type that resulted from being fully rested when you came back to quote-unquote normal life? Could, the epiphany could have happened during the sabbatical, but let's just say something... And what I'm trying to do here is you know, speak to people who di- have disallowed themselves from taking breaks to try to sell, <laughs> this might be the wrong way to approach it, but some of the payoff of resting. Does that make sense to me? It does. It does. And I'm looking away and I'm getting uncomfortable in my body because <laughs> what I'm feeling is the impulse which... I think you're giving voice to, which is to make sabbatical productive, mm. right? And uh, if that at all feels resonant, that's the problem. You know, when I was saying before, let go of those expectations, that's part of what I'm talking about here. Um, okay, so there's an image that I write about in my first book uh, something that occurred to me in 2001 when I was lying on the, the ground, the bottom of the Grand Canyon, which, by the way, if you really want to disconnect, go to the bottom of the Grand Canyon. You're four billion years into the past. It's an extraordinary experience. And I'm lying on the beach. There may or may not have been um, some alcohol involved. And I'm staring <laughs> up at the sky. And someone lying next to me says, oh, shooting star. And I begin trying to stare at the shooting stars. And I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking and it's driving me crazy because I can't see them. 
And then finally someone says, stop looking for them. And I rest my eyes, and with peripheral vision, this is true fact, all of a sudden I start catching the motion. And that's an image I would give you for sabbatical. People who go into sabbatical with the plan to, A, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. B, I'm going to get into really sh good shape. C, I'm going to finish that book. Typically, after farting around for a week, not getting anything done, start to feel terrible. And then it becomes this like voice of, you're wasting time. I can't believe you did this. What's the matter with you? You're failing at sabbatical. Right, which is insane. But if we go back to that notion of Sabbath, which is, you know, in the Jewish tradition, you know, uh, disavow or disconnect from anything that is electrical, right? Put your keys down, put your money down, rest. There's something very, very profoundly holy in rest. Now, I know I'm swimming upstream. Everybody wants to be productive. 